Hi friends, Teacher Rachel here today, and this week we are continuing on with our Eric Carle series. We are doing Eric Carle's A House for Hermit Crab, and this is a story about a hermit crab finding a new shell um, to live in, because hermit crabs find shells to live in. They don't create their own shells. And then, um, so they, they find abandoned shells, they clean them out, and they move into them. And as they grow bigger, they have to find gradually bigger and bigger shells. And so in this book, um, Hermit Crab is decorating his shell with various things that he finds on the ocean floor. So we are going to be making our own Hermit Crab and shell and you guys get to decorate it up with whatever you like. I've sent home some supplies. Um, you guys received, uh, I should have gotten a bag that's got some tissue paper, some feathers, some um, sparkly gems, some foam sticky stickers, some other gem stickers. Um, you sh might have leftover things at home that you can use. Um, you also got a pipe cleaner uh, and a paper plate. You're gonna need um, a, you're probably gonna need a black marker, maybe, um, or a red marker. You might need both if you've got them, grab them. Um, and you got a blue piece of paper. And then there's two ways that you can um, do the start for this. So we're gonna make the body of the crab, which the body of the crab is red, um, and he's got his head and he's got, you know, his legs and his um, claws and stuff like that. So you can either take your hand, turn your paper long ways, take your hand and trace your hand like this to create a body. So like here would be the head and then we can make these into claws here and then you will take your shell and put your shell on like this. Or if you got your materials for last week and you still have leftovers and you have your red paint, another way you can do this is to paint your hand like this. Ooh, it's always so chilly. Let's see. Oh, it's so slimy and cold on my hands. I keep my paint in the closet and it's very cold in the closet right now. So, all right, so here I've painted my hand and I'm going to put my handprint like so. There we go. And then I can, that one already looks kind of like a claw so I can just turn this one kind of into a claw too. There we go. And then there's some legs, and then you can either paint on his eye stalks, because he's got two little eye stalks, like so. One and two, or you can draw them on with a marker. Um, as I mentioned, I did send home a pipe cleaner, um, and the pipe cleaner is so you can use for um, his antenna. Let me clean my hands off, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, they have feelers there. I guess they're not really antenna. They're, I think they're technically feelers on their heads. Um, I could be wrong. Definitely not a hermit crab expert, though I think they're very, very cool. Um, and I've definitely learned a lot about them in the last couple of days. Uh, okay, so clean my hands. Um, so you can see here, he's got these right here, um, which you can either draw them with a black marker or you can make them with um, a pipe cleaner if you have some string, whatever you want to use. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to, since I have the black marker in my hand, I'm going to use the black marker to kind of draw them like they are in the picture. And then we're going to take our, I'm going to set this aside and let it dry a little bit. So we're going to take our paper plate and this is going to act as our shell. So here we have hermit crab's shell and you can cut it if you want to. So it's more of like a shell shape. Um, I'm not, I'm just gonna draw this swirly part on my plate. I'm gonna use this black marker. So I'm gonna start in the middle and just go around and get bigger and bigger and stop. Okay, so there's my shell and now we get to decorate it. So I do have some glue out. You're gonna want some glue, whether you use a glue stick or fresh glue uh, or white glue, that's up to you. Um, and then I'm gonna use a Q-tip. I found that this is like my favorite way of Paint, or painting glue on now. So um, 
yeah, so I've got lots of materials in this bag. I'm just gonna jump this whole bag out. Let's see what I got in here. Ooh, I got some fun stuff. Everything is random, so if you see something that I have that you didn't get, that's why I just, all the bags, I just kind of threw some materials in there for you. Um, so I'm gonna start, I think, with these tissue paper squares. I think they're really neat and they kind of give it a cool texture, especially once they've um, gotten glue all over them and they start to dry. I might have to redraw um, my swirl, but we'll see when we're all done because I really want to like kind of put some of these little tissue squares on it to give it a fun look. Just going to layer them a little bit, I think. Let's put a dark blue one right here. And what other colors do I have? Ooh, I've got some yellow and some green. Oh, yeah, they're kind of stuck together, but that's okay. And ooh, a purple one. I like purple. Pink. Some brown. And you don't have to use the tissue squares if you don't want to. If you have your watercolors out and you decide you want to paint it, go for it. If you have markers or crayons and you want to color it, that sounds awesome too. It's whatever you want to do, however you decide that you want to decorate your shell because it's your activity, it's your project, and it can go however you choose. We'll see. Okay. on top. <laughs> it's kind of messy, but I like it. Let's see here. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is actually almost like this color right here. I love teal. Teal bluish color is my favorite. It used to be orange when I was younger, but I kind of changed it as I've grown up, but I still, I love all colors really. So I don't know that I could ever just pick one, but if I absolutely had to, then it would be teal. But purple's pretty awesome too, especially together. They're so pretty. All right, I'm gonna put a purple one here too. So remember, there's no right way or wrong way to decorate your shell. I think I'm gonna call it good right down here on this tissue paper and with a yellow one. There we go. So now I've got some color on here and I'm gonna stick some gems. I've got some really pretty gems. I slopped some glue on there so now I can just kind of stick gems to it. I've got feathers too. It's not really something you find in the ocean, but it's still fun. I have a heart. There's a little heart. Oh, here's some stuff that you find in the ocean. I've got a fish. I can put a fish on here. Um, I like these swirls and I thought they kind of looked like snails. That's what they reminded me of or almost like the shells, like the shell that's we are decorating. So I'm going to put some of these swirls on there if they come apart. There we go. Oh, see. There's one. I'll put one over here. And you've got, we've got these ones. These ones are like, when I was little, these were um, like stick on earrings, basically, is how we would use them. So, but this one kind of looks like a starfish. That one and this one look like different types of starfish, which I think in the book, he actually does stick a starfish on him. There's a moon and a little diamond. And we've got feathers. I have a hand, which is kind of cool. I mean, there, I'll put it right there. All right, let's see what else do I have to put on here. Mm, I don't have a feather on here yet. I guess I could put a feather. Oh, I got a peace sign. <gasps> He's gonna be a super rad crab with a peace sign. Okay, here we go. Peace sign for my crab. And then I'm gonna stick a feather on here somewhere. Um, we'll just call him Yankee Doodle. Put a feather in his cap. There we go. So that is how my shell is turning out. I would love to see how your shells turn out. Um, so send me pictures and show me what you're doing because I love it when you guys share pictures of your projects. I like to see them, I like to share them. Um, so now I'm going to, I'm gonna need my glue again. I don't know why I closed it. I'm gonna bring my hand print over here. It's still a little bit wet, so I'm just gonna be really mindful about it. And I'm going to put some glue on the edge of my plate here just on the underside. You can kind of see, I'm not flipping this, well, I guess I could flip it over because the glue is still pretty wet. So I'm gonna put my glue on here and then I'm gonna take my plate and I'm going to stick it onto my paper. 
like so. And you can see there's my little crab legs and his head is sticking out. And here's his shell. It's very colorful and fun. So I hope he likes his hermit crab home. So I can't wait to see what you guys do. Um, please feel free to share it, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.